So the question for today is, do herpes viruses cause cancer? And the answer is absolutely yes. Um, the uh, most common cancer that's associated with uh, herpes would be prostate cancer. Prostate cancer, suffer, uh, you're twice as likely to uh, have prostate cancer uh, if you are positive for herpes type 2. Uh, and at least there's, I've seen one report of uh, people improving uh, with uh, lowering of their PSA after they start taking medications for herpes. Uh, herpes viruses have been known to cause cancer and there are direct uh, mechanisms or worked out and proven without any doubt in anybody's mind that say Epstein-Barr virus causes Burkett's lymphoma and uh, either Epstein-Barr or CMV can cause nasopharyngeal carcinoma or uh, stomach cancer and pancreatic cancer. So we have not had enough time to really prove as to whether all of these will respond to the usual treatments for herpes or for uh, or additional treatments uh, aimed at herpes, with the exception of glioblastoma. So glioblastoma tends to be the most aggressive brain tumor uh, that an individual can have. It's almost the most uh, aggressive cancer that you can get, and that it is almost 100% associated with CMV, cytomegalovirus, which is herpes type 5. Uh, there have been a couple of very definitive sounding uh, trials on uh, uh, the treatment of uh, people who have glioblastoma and uh, take medications uh, for CMV versus those who don't and who's, those who don't live for one year after diagnosis and those who do live for two years. So it is by no means a perfect uh, treatment, uh, but it is a start. And I think that as we go forward, we will probably identify many, many more cancers that are related to some kind of virus and antiviral treatments will become an integral part of cancer treatment. This is, uh, should not be anything new. 20 to 25% of all cancers are proven to be the direct result of a viral infection, but we are currently not at a state to really know exactly how to go about it with the exception of glioblastoma.